The travel scoot is the world's lightest mobility scooter. Even so, it weighs about between 35 and 36 pounds, which is still a substantial amount of weight for many people. If you have difficulty loading it in a relatively high trunk, or uh, in this case, uh, cargo area on a hatchback, there's a couple tricks. I'm just going to show you one of the simpler ones that many of our customers have shown us. We recommend taking a blanket or something to protect your rear bumper. And then you proceed as follows. We're going to lighten this thing up as much as possible by removing the seat assembly complete. That's six pounds. Removing the battery complete. That's four pounds. So you are now down to about 25 pounds total weight. You are lifting up just the front of the scooter. At no point are you lifting up more than half the weight of the scooter. You've now loaded your travel scoot without lifting more than essentially 13 pounds at any one time. Normally, uh, we get calls People ask, will the travel scoot fit in my vehicle? Any other mobility scooter, they probably have to disclose what type of vehicle they have. Not so with the travel scoot. It fits in any vehicle. We've got a Subaru Forester here. It's This is a slam dunk. This is a walk in the park uh, or a scoot in the park. It fits. This is how quickly you can load up. I'll show you the simple version. Removing the seat assembly, six pounds. Place it in there. Place the battery in the caddy, snap, snap. And you're done, quick and dirty. To unload, take it out. Place the battery bracket back, brackets. Take your seat. and you're ready to go. The most common way and quickest way to just uh, break down the scooter and toss it in the trunk of any vehicle, okay, we've got a Super Forester here which makes it super easy, but just for demonstration purposes, we'll remove the seat assembly. Slip the battery out of its tray, lay it in the caddy. It's easy to remove completely and just set aside on its own, but we don't have to. And then fold the frame by means of these two locking pins. Fold it down and set it in. Unloading in reverse order of loading. Take your scooter, set it down, prop it up. This is something that get good at with practice. In a case such as a hatchback, in this case a Subaru Forester, which is very run of the mill and probably represents the majority of vehicles on, on US roads at this time. You're not even gonna have to go that far. Simply lower the handlebars. This is a very nice little feature on the travel scoot by removing the seat, flipping the backrest, and then turning the seat around. You now have a single handhold and a low profile. Simply pick up the scooter as is. In some cases, you're going to have an even smaller vehicle. The most compact way and lightest way of loading the scooter is to remove even the front wheel. Now you're down to a total weight of 21 pounds. You can now essentially slide the scooter up over the bumper and into the vehicle again 
without too much strain. Another option, leave the front wheel on. Again, lift only the front, drag it over. Don't mind the view. And you can now wheel barrel it in.